Getting up here a little higher now. I'm on a uh, east northeast aspect at about 11,500 feet. And I'm digging down into the snow here looking for weak layers. We're on a persistent weak layer hunt. I think most of the wind slabs up high are starting to stick into place pretty well. These warm temperatures over the next few days are going to start to um, set things up. But digging down into the snow here, you can see, see I've still managed to find some weak layers. And just did a quick uh, compression test and got a CT17 here on this uh, weak layer of faceted snow that's buried in the snow. These were probably some near surface facets that formed before the last two storm cycles and they've been hanging around in there for a little while. Not super reactive, but uh, they are in there and that tells me that we do still have a persistent slab concern. So based on those results I got on the compression test, I decided to go a little further and do an extended column test. And you can see over here I've got a nice planter surface. Um, this is similar results to what I had two days ago, about the same distance down from the snow surface. Um, this is an ECT21, which means on 21 taps, swinging from the shoulder at this point, I was able to get propagation across this layer. This tells me that we do still definitely have a moderate uh, persistent slab danger. You're going to want to be aware of this weak layer. You're going to want to dig down in the snow and see if it exists before you push it into any steep uh, suspect terrain.